Rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Rotate. That means we're spinning things around. In this case, we're spinning it around clockwise, which goes like a regular clock goes like that. When you spin something, usually, not all the time, but usually you either go 90, 180, or 270. 90 is one quarter of an entire circle. So it's important that we know that 90 degrees is one fourth of the spin. Now, this is the way that I've been doing it for years, and you might have a teacher that does it differently, but this is what I do. I'm pretending that I'm using a piece of paper and I'm physically spinning it this way one quarter of a turn. So I take my paper, and in this case, I take this guy, and I spin it one quarter of a turn click. My answer is going to look like a shape that looks exactly like that. That is my answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out these points as they appear so that when I fix my page or picture, I can draw those points out and I have a nice pretty little picture. All right, so let's find out what these points are. In no particular order, I can start out with I, so I'm going to call it I prime, and I find out what I prime is as it appears. And if I start at the origin, it appears to be left 1, 2, up 1, 2, 3. So left 2 is negative 2. Up 3 is positive 3, so I prime appears that it would be at left 2 up 3, negative 2, 3. Do it again. Here's E, so E prime looks like I go from the origin left 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, so left 3, up 3. X appears to be left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So X appears to be left 5, don't move. Left 5, don't move, so negative 5, 0. And Q appears to be 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1, 2. So negative 4, negative 2. Now, this is what my answer is supposed to be like. So if your teacher says, take the original picture and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, you can't just spin it and say, here, teacher, look, this is what I ended up with. No, we spun it so that we could see what our answer will look like. We write down the coordinates as they appear so that what I can do next is spin it back to its regular position and draw those points out. All right, so let's do that. Let's draw those points out. I was negative 2, 3. So I prime is going to be left 1, 2, up 1, 2, 3, put a dot, call it I prime. E prime has you going left 3, up 3. So left 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3. That's E prime. X prime has me going from the origin, moving five to the left, and then don't move at all. So one, two, three, four, five, don't move at all. And Q prime has me going left one, two, three, four, down one, two, right next to my original I. So this was my pre-image. And now what I'm doing is I'm connecting the dots to make my regular image. And I'm always so bad at this. Let me, let me try this one again. So bad at that. Mm, no, not happy. Mm, no, not happy. So if you had a, oh my gosh, not happy at all. So if you had the, uh, the capacity to draw like a normal person, unlike me, you would realize that, oh, these, these shapes are exactly the same. They didn't change at all. No, they didn't. What they did is they rotated, and this guy spun one quarter turn that way and looked like that guy. So that's how I do rotations. Take your page, spin it in the appropriate direction, write down the dots as they appear, fix your page, and uh, draw out those dots. Connect them better than me. 
and you're done.